everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Royal Caribbean cruise experts, and today I have the great pleasure of being on board the beautiful Explorer of the Seas. Now, I first met this incredible ship in the year 2000 when she was launched. She's been through quite a few makeovers, updates. In fact, she just got out of an extensive dry dock where they added some incredible features to this ship. But for me, one of the things that I love about cruising is every time you come back on board a cruise ship, all the memories come flooding back. I know I have incredible memories with family members who are no longer with us, with friends that we met for the first time that we're still friends with today. So for me, my heart is incredibly full and I'm so excited to share all the public spaces with you. Now I'm gonna do that on the tour here today. Keep in mind, we've got the rooms and suites on our channel for you to check out. And then we also have all the other rooms and suites available with Royal Caribbean. You'll find a ton of Celebrity and Silver Sea as well. When you are ready to book your next cruise with Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, or Silver Sea, make sure you book it right on hardtravel.com or reach out to the experts at Hard Travel. We know we can help guide you through the process from start to finish to help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way. Now, as I mentioned, the ship just got out of dry dock. And so as I'm looking around, you'll see all of the surfaces have been resurfaced. The ship really is in beautiful shape. One of the big, big evolutions is they did add the two incredible water slides to the aft of the ship. Now we'll take you back there in just a minute. But we've started off right here on deck 12, just above the pool area. Now this really does act as a sun deck. It's also a track area, so you'll be able to walk the entire track. It loops all the way around. Now I recommend morning or evening for that because as the sun comes out, it tends to get a little busier up here. So you're gonna have deck chairs that are facing down to the pool area. You'll also have deck chairs that are facing out to the incredible ocean views. And as we set sail in just a few minutes, I know for me personally, once that band cranks up those Caribbean tunes, we got the beautiful Caribbean sun above me, the ship sailing out here in Miami. There's just something absolutely magical as it comes together. Now just below me, you're gonna find the main pool area. So you've got two relatively large pools there. There's also some extra large hot tubs. You've got the showers down there as well. And as I mentioned, I pointed out that you do have a bandstand. Now they're on break right now here on boarding day. They're gonna fire it up in just a couple minutes. And once again, the entire pool deck's gonna get rocking and having an amazing time. Now they did add on an extra large television out here. So it's a massive LCD screen. And there you can watch first run movies. They have sports games. Think of the perfect place to watch the Super Bowl, things like that as well. So you have a full entertainment venue that kind of evolves from day into night. And night, oftentimes you'll see they set up the deck parties right here where they have the bandstand as well. You see some people getting on a conga line, really having an awesome time together. Now down below, you're gonna find the pool bar. Every great pool needs a great pool bar. Now they're gonna provide service there at the bar. You can belly up to the bar or they'll provide drink service all the way around the lower decks and the upper decks here. In fact, you also have an upper pool bar here as well. There's a nice little seating area just out front. So you've got another place where you can sit back, relax, grab a drink and enjoy your time on board. Now another really cool feature is this tiered area here. So you'll find that this is reserved for suite guests. So this is another one of those great advantages of having a suite. Now, if you wanna see all the suites, we have them on our channel. That'll complement the suite concierge lounge. You'll also have that special suite restaurant, priority embarking and disembarking throughout, in addition to reserved seating in the shows. But it's those suite concierges and of course your hard travel advisor that help put all that together to have the most incredible value for your suite vacation. Now also up here, you'll find some day beds, you'll find different styles of loungers. But once again, up here is all about the sun, down there is all about the pool fun. Now, if you're looking for some more sun deck space, there's also a sun deck that's just forward of the main pool. You also have a massive sun deck that's up behind me as well. Now these are areas where you can just sit back, relax in the sun itself. They have not renovated this ship quite extensively as you might find on like the Navigator and the Mariner, which they added the lime and coconut. They also moved the uh, miniature golf course. They have not done it on Explorer. And to be honest with you, I kind of like it here. I really like the extra sun deck space. You're gonna have a ton of space to spread out. And also when you're cruising to some of the most scenic parts of our world, you also have some great observation space as well. Now I mentioned on the pool deck, that's where it's gonna get rocking here in a few minutes. You've got the big screen, you've got the band going. If you're looking for a more serene environment, just behind me and down below, you're gonna find the solarium. Now this is adults only, it's 16 and up. You're gonna find that you have a nice large pool right here, easy walk in. Of course, you also have that, that shallow seating on the outside where you can sit on the bench, put your toes in the water and really enjoy a cool off. 
Now to complement that, you're also gonna have those extra comfy padded loungers, also those nicer big deck chairs as well. You've got umbrellas for the shade. We also have quite a bit of area in the shade underneath. So you can choose to sit out in the sun. Once again, I mentioned there's a ton of sun deck space up here as well, or down below. Also one of the signatures are the two extra large jacuzzis. Once again, this is an adults only area, which is a really nice fit. So you've got the two large jacuzzis, they're in the shade and then you have an enormous amount of seating on the side. Once again, you're gonna have the party at the pool, you're gonna have the sit back, relax time here at the solarium. Now, Royal Caribbean has been synonymous with outdoor fun for quite some time, and one of my all-time favorites is the miniature golf course. I've been playing since I was a little guy, I now play with my kiddos as well. It's always complimentary and it's open late, so brand new, they just renovated this and added it on. We'll see what I've got here. Yep, that's about right. That's a, that's a point one, right? There we go. Mulligan. Ish. No? Well, there we go. All right. Well, par three, I've still got, I've still got hope. We'll see. Ah. Yep. There we go. It's bogey time. Oh, goodness. I have time for a little bit of redemption here. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we got. Now, I'm not 100% sure who did that, but I am loving the, uh, the idea here that we've got, uh, let's see. Oh, well, according to the sign, that's a birdie. So I'm at even par, I'm gonna quit while I'm behind. Now, another awesome bit of family fun is the Flow Rider Surf Simulator. Now, Royal first added this on with Freedom, so they went back and added it to some of the older ships because it's been such an incredible hit. So here you could go surfing, you can of course go bodyboarding as well. They're gonna have private sessions at different times of the day, but in addition to that, you're also gonna find that you're gonna be able to come down and use it with different skill levels. So they'll set aside those who are a little more advanced and can get on a little bit longer, carve it up, unlike myself. To me, I'm just gonna get on, enjoy, wipe out, and head back down again. Now, when I first boarded the Explorer of the Seas, it was my very first Voyager class ship, first time I've ever been on a mega ship, and I walked right around this corner and I was so excited because they had rollerblading. So this used to be a rollerblading arena where it went all around. It was kind of quite a few different turns in there. We'd race. We had a lot of fun because that's what we did back in the day, right? We did some inline skating. That's what happened. Well, it's kind of gone out of, uh, well, not quite as popular these days to say the least. And so what they have done recently is they just, in dry dock, they added cyclone and typhoon, what they call the perfect storm of water slides. What better place to go on a water slide than the very top of a cruise ship deck? These are two really extensive water slides as well. Another one of those great complimentary features, I love that they now have water sports on the aft of the ship the way that they always have in the midship area. Now the sport court on Royal Caribbean has brought me so much joy over the years and I know my dad and I and my brother have played on this very court probably a hundred times. This is one of our favorite ships. We kept coming back time and time again. And him being a basketball coach and my brother and I playing for him, we came up to practice our free throws. We played the three on three tournament. We did some dodgeball, we had some fun. Let's see if I still got anything left in the tank here. Oh, 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 it's not forgiving. Well, let's check and see if the bank's open. Nope, definitely closed. All right, we go Rick Berry, just see if I can't get one in there. Eh, I should just do it every time. So another really awesome feature is, of course, the rock climbing wall. This also is a signature of Royal Caribbean, and you can see up here they just replaced a lot of it in the most recent dry dock. It's another great, fun outdoor activity. You do need to have shoes, so make sure you show up there with shoes and socks something that's gonna be required for that. But they also have different levels of rock climbing. I know my kiddos now absolutely love to participate as well. So you can see up here, there's all kinds of great outdoor family fun. I know that's one of the reasons people go on vacation. Get your kids outside having a great time, whether it's miniature golf, the water slides, the flow rider, the rock climbing wall, the sports court, whatever it is that you're doing, you know that you're gonna have a great time heading outside on a Royal Caribbean ship. Now, Royal Caribbean's Adventure Ocean Kids program is an award-winning program where there's gonna be something for absolutely everyone to do on board. Now, it's been a big part of my life since I was a really little kiddo. I started cruising as a youngster with my parents and now traveling with my son and my daughter. It's really brought all of that together for me. For me personally, to have the perfect vacation experience, 
This cruise does provide that because like I said, there's something for absolutely every member of the family. My daughter would constantly come back with different art projects she was so proud of, the model magic, lots of fun, but also quite a bit of learning as well. Now we've started off in the area for the three to five year olds. So these are the littlest cruisers here on board that have facilities on the Explorer of the Seas. It's a drop off program, so they are gonna need to be potty trained. They'll have availability throughout the day, even on port days as well. And one of the things that I love about it, in addition to them having a blast, it's perfect for the parents as well. I know my wife and I loved going out, having a fantastic specialty meal, coming back and picking up my daughter though. Many times she said, I wanna stay longer. And that was fine with us. We went back out and had a wonderful time. So in here you can see they have a little slide and a play area. You also have the check-in desk. So the very first day of the cruise, it's really important that you come by and you check in your kiddos. You're gonna let them know who can check them in and out. On our last cruise, that was my parents, close family friends of ours. They will only let those who are authorized by the parents check them in and out of the club. Now over here you see they have a TV, they'll do movie nights, they'll do different kinds of activities, they have all kinds of different arts and crafts and science projects. I know my daughter did a ton of coloring, that was her thing that she absolutely loved. So you've got some more fun play areas over here, the sink, and then also a great thing is just on the other side, they do have bathroom facilities that are the right size for the kiddos and they're here in the club itself. Next up is the Explorers area, and this is for the kiddos that are six to eight years old. Once again, you'll find a very similar setup. So on the far side here, you're gonna have a sink, of course, with all those art projects. Over here, you have large booth seating areas, also some cubbies where they can put their different projects as well. Now on the other side, kind of have this really interesting feature here. It's kind of like a, a seawall, I guess, maybe heading down to Antarctica. Once again, there's gonna be a lot of learning as well, especially depending on where you're going. The last time I sailed on this ship was actually in Alaska. And it was really cool because in here they were teaching the kids about the different wildlife up there. We saw whales, we saw dolphins, we saw all kinds of different birds. We even saw some bears. And my daughter came back from the kids club already knowing what she was looking at. So tucked in the corner, you've got another booth style seat here. You've got more different video games and uh, you've got TVs as well. So once again, this is the six to eight year olds. And now we'll head around the corner to check out the older kiddos. Next up is the area for the nine to 12 year olds. So it's quite a bit bigger space you'll see here. It's really wide open. So you're gonna have video game consoles over on the far side, who doesn't love playing video games? And then one of the things I love about having these big open spaces is they play all kinds of different games. Whether it's Gaga Ball, you know, kind of a little bit of dodgeball style concept here, or they even do bowling, they do hula hoops, lots of different fun activities right here. Of course, you have the TV and the stage over the far side. So they'll put on dance parties for the kids in here. They'll also do different styles of entertainment. And then wrapping around the far side, you're gonna have a movie area. So you've got this nook wrapped all the way around. You've got a foosball table over here as well. And then once again, all kinds of different arts, crafts, science supplies. They'll mix it up each and every single day. And then they also have the ability for the kids to stay later into the evening. There is a charge associated with that but once again my daughter wanted to stay so often on our last cruise and it was perfect for everyone. Now just like every other age group on board the teenagers have their own dedicated space as well and in my mind they're usually the hardest to entertain. I was a middle school teacher for over a decade and I love this space the way that they have it set up. It's really set up as a teen disco so there's several different areas where you can sit and lounge. You've got booths just behind here and they're going to do programming throughout the day and later into the evening. So right here you have the old school mocktails bar. I don't think that they really use that much anymore but I was a teenager on this ship way back when. Um, as you come in here, you're also gonna find that you have the full dance floor here. There's some more areas where they have all the big bean bags. They'll put them out here for a movie night. They'll do a dance party. And then wrapped around the corner, you're gonna find they have the restroom facilities in here. And then you also have several other lounge areas. So just like the younger kiddos, they'll do activities, programming, they'll mix and match where it's educational, it's fun, and they'll also have some get togethers. Now for the teens, there's also an outdoor space. Let me take you around the corner and show you what I'm talking about. So now in this outdoor teen youth area, you're gonna see that you have several different ping pong tables. You've got some lounge style seating. You've got some chairs over on the far side as well. So this kind of combines together. Now keep in mind, the teenagers can check themselves in and out. So it's a little bit of a different scenario here, the way that it works for the older kiddos. They'll go over all of that on boarding day. Once again, make sure you bring your teens by the Optics Teen Club, bring all your other kiddos by the Kids Club as well. That way you can learn about all the programming throughout the cruise. So they're gonna have an absolute blast. Now a staple on Royal Caribbean ships is the Challenger's Arcade. So this is for the young and the young at heart, and that's exactly what it is. It's an arcade where you can play some of your favorite classic games and some newer games as well. 
Now everything in here does come at an additional cost. Make sure you have that discussion with your kiddos. You can put a limit on their account if you want to do it that way as well. But sometimes dad's got to pay attention to that in addition. So coming in, you've got several different claw games. You also have some air hockey, more air hockey over here to the side. I do like that they have some new virtual reality style games. Of course, classic ski ball style right here. You're gonna have some bowling. Wrapping around, you've got different prize games. So Fruit Ninja is always fun. Play that on the phone as well. And then wrapping around here, you see the ski ball, you see the basketball games, several different driving games in addition. Once again, I mentioned this earlier, it does come at an additional cost. It's an optional thing to come in and play, but make sure you have that discussion first. Now, throughout this tour, I know you're gonna hear a lot of nostalgia from me because this ship holds so many memories. One of them is this particular contraption. It used to be up where the Diamond Lounge is now. That used to be a bar that was a public area, and it tied into the mini golf course just behind. So it's just a fun little contraption where you can see the balls are going up and down, and then they work their way all the way through. But had a few drinks back in the day, enjoyed that, and now it's really funny because the kiddos love to come by here and stare and watch it do its job as well. Now one upgrade that they made relatively recently was adding in the tavern. Now there's always been a bar here, but they've turned it into more of a sports bar. So you've got the bar anchored in the middle, you've got new furniture, nice little areas you can tuck away in the back, but they also put up a ton of TVs. So you've got golf on right now, of course they'll have the baseball games, football games, whatever it is that you're looking for. You've got the booth style seating along the wall there wrapping around and actually tucks all the way in the back. Now, Royals had a relationship with Park West Galleries for quite some time, so if you're looking to buy art on the ship, they do some great auctions. Now, you can go to learn about it. You also get some free champagne. But if you're interested in the different art pieces, I love that they have it set up as a gallery. You can come by and enjoy that anytime you'd like. Got some of your favorites from Peter Max and Godard there. See a few of our others as well. But once again, this is that great place you can come by if you're interested in purchasing art or just learning about what it's like to own art. Now I did want to take you one more spot. Now one of my all time favorite things on any cruise ship is checking out who the godmother is. Now I remember this from way back in the day, but Jackie Joyner Kersey, she was the female athlete of the 20th century. I think that was Time Magazine that said that. But she is not only an incredible, incredible athlete, but I love the fact that she's also the godmother of this ship. So Royal has always done that. They've tied it together. They have some unique godmothers throughout the entire fleet. Make sure you always check that out when you're on board your ship. In the middle of deck four, you're gonna find the massive Casino Royale. Now it's gonna have all your favorite table and slot machines. You're gonna find all the favorite games. I love that they actually have a hand dealt Texas Hold'em table. I play there quite often. Down here at the tables, you've got Ultimate Texas Hold'em, three card poker. You have some blackjack, of course, craps, all of your favorites, including roulette. They're here to take, I mean, for you to be entertained and uh, maybe donate a few funds here and there. Now you have this staircase that goes up to the promenade. I didn't point that up upstairs, but I just wanted to point that up here so you can get quick and easy access up and down. And all around the side, you're gonna find an enormous amount of slots. So you've got all the new games, you have the multiplayer games, the multi-games as well. So it's really whatever it is that you're looking for. If you love a great casino experience, you're sure to have one here on board as well. Now I did want to mention there's a smoking and non-smoking part of this casino. I wish it was separated out a little bit more with some glass, but it's a great casino to come and enjoy. Now one of the delicious specialty restaurant options here on board is Giovanni's Table. Now it's a classic Italian menu. If you love Italian food, you're going to absolutely love your time here. Now once again, I love to talk about the ship and its history. This used to be the upper level of the Vault Club. So this was a two-story dance club. There's actually new rooms down below in here. So I love walking back into the space, but I can't believe it because it's absolutely elegant. It's beautiful. And of course, if you want that upgraded specialty restaurant experience, maybe you're celebrating a birthday, an anniversary, or any special moment, make sure you check out Giovanni's. Right now at the forward part of the ship on deck two, you're gonna find two more spaces. So you've got a pretty large conference center. They have the ability to take smaller rooms, combine them for quite a bit larger space. We put together all kinds of different groups and conferences on board here over the years. So make sure you reach out early for that because you wanna get that space blocked off in addition to getting all the space blocked off for the rooms and suites. Now down here, you're also gonna find the loyalty desk. So that those of you who are Crown and Anchor members, you've sailed with Royal before. If you have any questions about the loyalty benefits, your inclusions, things along those lines, they're here to help. Now one very last thing, you see that glass area up there? That used to be the entryway into the vault. Now you've got some extra rooms that they've put on. 
So once again, you see how a cruise ship is a living, breathing figure. It changes, it moves, it changes. And what I love is with all the upgrades and the updates, it really still delivers the same incredible experience that I had all those years ago, the very first time on board. Now, one of Royal Caribbean's signatures for decades is the Viking Crown Lounge area. So to the very top of the ship, you get these massive floor to ceiling windows where you can get some incredible views. And of course, it's a multi-use venue as well. So we've started off right here in Dizzy's. Now it's a nightclub, of course, paying tribute to the great Dizzy Gillespie. And what you're gonna find here is that full DJ booth. You've got the dance floor here, and it very much does look like a lounge and club. Now throughout the day, they'll use this for trivia. They always do a veterans tribute up here that I've always found very, very moving personally. Really enjoy that. And then they also can utilize this for different group options. In fact, I've had group meetups here, and it's a great place to come for a cocktail in the evening. So whether you have a live band going here or a DJ later on, you're gonna find that you have a lot of different seating options. Now, my wife personally loves to come up here specifically because of all the light. So all along the front, you're gonna find, find lounge style seating. So you've got tables for two and four. You've got more booths up here. And then you're gonna have the crow's nest bar right here in the corner. So they'll provide the bar service throughout. So once again, a great place where you can come sit and relax during the day enjoy entertainment or all the way into the night where it becomes the adult nightclub here on board. Now on the starboard side of the Viking Crown, you're gonna find the Diamond Club. Now Royal Caribbean's Crown and Anchor loyalty programs is one of the best in the entire industry. I found the perks have meant a lot to me and my family and one of those is not just access to this beautiful club, but it's access to the Diamond Concierge. So if you're Diamond and higher, the Diamond Concierge, you'll be able to meet with them on boarding day and then throughout your cruise. They can help you make restaurant reservations, they can make all kinds of different reservations and really take the entire experience to another level for you. Now keep in mind if you're in a full suite, you'll get an early reach out from the suite concierge, it's a different concept, and your hard travel advisor will guide you through all of that to make sure you get the most value for your money. So once again, you've got the Diamond Club concierge, their desk is gonna be right here. You have this beautiful furniture, this was all added when it was renovated recently, and then you're gonna have the full bar style here as well. So they'll have light bites for you, so you can have appetizers, especially in the morning for breakfast, you'll have some like continental style breakfast, they've got the espresso machine that is complimentary, so you can come up here have a nice cup of coffee, a beautiful view from inside or outside. Now, one of the things that people really love is the Diamond Happy Hour. So later on in the day, usually starting around five o'clock, they'll have a complimentary happy hour. Now, they also have now loaded the drinks onto your card, so you can get those throughout the day, throughout the ship, or you can head up here as well. So once again, they'll have appetizers set up, you'll have some great service, and I love the concept that it's not only a beautiful indoor lounge with incredible seating, you also are gonna have a beautiful outdoor lounge as well. Now, this used to be a public bar, so this has been a space that's been reimagined, if you will. I love that they've given it to the most loyal cruisers. You can come out here as well and have this great outdoor style seating. So you see the big comfy lounge style seating here, far on the other side as well. And then you can even get some views. Maybe your kiddos are using the rock climbing wall. Maybe the family members are playing at the sport court. You can sit here, watch, and enjoy as well. Now, those of you who know me well know that I'm now in my happy place. This is Azumi Sushi and it's absolutely delicious. You're gonna find it on virtually all the Royal Caribbean ships. It's exactly what the name says, it's a sushi bar. Now some of the other ones do have a hibachi experience. They don't have that here on board, which in my mind is actually a benefit here because the sushi bar area is quite a bit bigger. So you're gonna find all of your different rolls, your sashimi, your sushi, and quite a few other options as well. They've got a great teriyaki chicken bowl, the chicken karagi's out of this world. My family loves to come here. So you've got a full sushi bar over on the far side, so you can see the sushi chefs doing their magic there. And then all throughout, you're gonna find tables for two, four, six, or eight. They've got large, massive rolls that you can share as a family. They've got smaller rolls, and then once again, a wide variety of sushi, sashimi, and Japanese delights. This is one of the specialty restaurants here on board, so if you buy the unlimited package, it's one of the places where you can use that. Now keep in mind that it does get very busy while you're cruising, because everybody loves sushi, so make sure you reserve ahead of time or right when you get on board. So the very top of the ship, you're gonna find the Skylight Chapel. Now this used to be a staple on virtually every cruise ship. You'd find a full chapel. You could do weddings in here, of course. They'll do services. Of course, the ship's operating 365 days of the year, so you're gonna have all the different holidays as well. Now sometimes they will have services led by guests who are here on board, but you can use this for quite a few different options. This can even be a meeting space here. It's a great meditative space during the day as well. You've got the beautiful 
glass windows up top there. I love the stained glass effect. Once again, it's set up exactly like a chapel. You can come here, play, pray, relax, meditate, or it's another beautiful place to stop by and enjoy. So our next stop is the next cruise desk. Royal Caribbean knows that you're gonna have such an incredible time on board that you're gonna book your next cruise while you're here. And it's great because you can take advantage of some offers that simply do not exist on land. So once you leave here, you can't get those promotions. So you can book an open cruise. This is the ability to basically say, I just want those promotions. You lock them in for 60 days. And then when you get back, we'll take over everything from there, help you pick the right cruise, and you'll still get those benefits. Or of course, if you know what you're looking for, when you're here on board, you just let them know, and they're gonna help you pick that perfect suite or cabin just for you. Now, if you booked your cruise that you got here with, with Hard Travel, the cruise is gonna directly go back to your advisor, so they'll be able to still take care of everything throughout. Now, if you booked direct before you got here, all you have to do is give them our agency phone number. You can reach out to us, info at hardtravel.com or call the number down below. You can reach out to us, get that information as well. And then as soon as you get home, we can take over from there as well. And you can have the most incredible cruise experience. And of course, the Hard Travel extra value all every step of the way. Now, just down the steps, you'll find the fitness center. So they have a fully comprehensive fitness center and even a guy watching out for you here to make sure that you do all your exercises the right way. Now, as we head further in, you're gonna see first that you have a men's and ladies changing room. One thing that's unique about this is that they do have sauna and steam room in there. They're actually really large. They're complimentary that you can use throughout your cruise. Now, one of my favorite features of this class of ship, and with all the renovations, it's actually disappeared on the other ships in the class itself, but you have this really nice, large mineral whirlpool right in the middle. So you can kind of combine it as part of your workout. Once again, you've got the sauna, you've got the steam room, and then all the different equipment. You also have the aerobic equipment on the far side. Let's go check that out now. Now, as we head into the fitness center itself, you're gonna find exactly what you would find at a gym at home. So you're gonna have your free weights over to the side. They've got several different benches with different adjustments. You've got an ab machine over in the corner there. Several different machines with all the pulleys. So you can utilize, you've got a Smith machine over on the far side. And then here, you're gonna see that you'll be able to do that full circuit workout. So all along the mid area, you're gonna find that you have circuit equipment here so you can work every part of the body. And then as we transition over, you're gonna find more of the aerobic equipment. So along the front, you're gonna have those beautiful views looking out the front of the ship. You also have a really unique feature here where you do have a peekaboo bridge down in front as well. But I love that they have all of the different treadmills. You've got ellipticals here, you've got bikes, all facing out to take advantage of the incredible ocean views. Now, the last part of the fitness center I wanted to take you to is the aerobic studio. Now, they will have classes while you're here on board, so you can take advantage of those. You're gonna wanna sign up early because they do fill up, especially on sea days. So you're always gonna wanna do that spa and fitness tour sometime on the first day on board. You'll see they have the spin bikes over to the side. You've got different yoga equipment, different weights. So they do a very different set of diverse workouts here. So you can come in and utilize the space yourself. You can come and join one of the classes. They're also gonna have private fitness classes if you're interested in that. They can work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Lots of different options here if you're looking for that health and wellness track. Now I mentioned in the fitness center that at the front of the ship, they have a peekaboo bridge. Now the bridge is of course where the captain's gonna do all of their work from. This is where they do the navigation, they plot all the courses that we're gonna be going on. It's really where the ship gets steered. And one really cool thing here on this ship is that you actually have windows that look down in there. So from here, I can see all the different maps. Of course, I can see where the captain sits, all of those pieces of the puzzle. And you also have a great description up here explaining it as well, along with a couple extra computer displays. So if you're interested in what's going on with the ship, just basically what the captain's doing, you can head up here anytime. Now, as you head forward from the Deck 3 dining room, you're gonna find the Focus Photo Gallery. Now, photography is also a big part of the cruise experience. They're gonna take your picture as often as you'd like throughout, whether it's a formal night sitting where you can get the whole family all dressed up for that perfect Christmas card photo. They'll also do casual portraits throughout. You can even sit down with their staff and do formal settings for photos. They'll come around when you're boarding, other times. The idea is they capture the memories for you so you can enjoy your vacation looking out instead of through a lens. Now, of course, these are an extra cost. You don't have to take any of the pictures. You also don't have to purchase any of the pictures. And one of the great things is now that they brought it into the new era, all you do is tap your CPAS card on one of the screens. It's gonna pull up all of your photos throughout the entire cruise. You can purchase them all digitally as a package. You can purchase one print. They even have some different mediums that you can get them on. Maybe you wanna get those perfect pictures for grandma and grandpa to send home. 
Now the most popular specialty restaurant here on board is also Royal Caribbean's original and it's Chops Grill. This is that classic unapologetic steakhouse menu. You're gonna find all your favorites, those colossal shrimp cocktail, it's my favorite way to start, but you've got some delicious options to start off moving your way through. Of course, it's gotta be that bone and ribeye. That's the juiciest, most flavorful of all the cuts, but you know, if you love a filet, you love a New York, they've got all those for you. Now, the space itself is nice and large. It's the largest of the specialty restaurants. So you got tables for two or four, you've got booth style seating, and then you also have tables here along the window. If you're dining a little earlier in the evening, I always do request that. Once again, you can talk to the suite concierge. They can help try to make that work as well for you. Now, once again, classic steakhouse menu. You see more seating here towards the back. They also have a really large collection of wine as well. Sommelier is happy to pair that with you to find the perfect combination to have a delicious meal. So now we're on the promenade deck and promenades have been around as long as cruising has. In fact, the name comes from the idea where people would come on out, promenade around and be seen. And the idea here is it's a place where you can sit and relax, get some incredible ocean views. I've spent quite a few sea days right here myself. They also have some games, there's shuffleboard down there, some checkers, different things like that. But the idea here really, like I said, is to come on out, get some fresh air. You can also take in some incredible scenic views as well. Now, not every ship has the front of the ship accessible to guests. This particular one does, and I absolutely love it. I've spent a lot of time out here over the years of cruising. So at the very front, you actually have a helicopter pad. You have some chairs, some areas where you can sit and relax. And that's really the idea behind it. It's a visual area. You can go out, check out some incredible scenery. And also, in case of emergency, they have that access as well. Now at the very front of the ship, you actually have access to this incredible space. It's really a helicopter pad, but it's a perfect place to come and take in the amazing views. For sail away, there's no better place to be on the ship. You're at the very front of the ship, looking out, taking in the amazing, ever-changing views. And in this particular case, you're realizing you picked the perfect cruise ship option. I love here, like I said, that you can come up during the scenic parts of our world. You can check that out here, or you can just come up any time of day or night. I've spent quite a bit of time here myself, and I love it, just another place to relax that a lot of people don't find until much later in the cruise. Now we just stepped inside Johnny Rockets. Now Johnny Rockets is a chain. They have it at home as well. It's a classic 1950s diner. It was one of the very first specialty restaurants on any cruise ship. In fact, when it debuted on the Explorer, it was the second Johnny Rockets at sea, with her sister, the Voyager, having it first. Now what you're gonna find here is classic 1950s kind of burger joint, if you will, and, and soda shop. So you're gonna find malts. They're absolutely delicious. You have different milkshakes as well. They're gonna have the classics, the french fries, the onion rings. I love their chili, but to me, it's all about the burgers. Now, Johnny Rockets is open late. It usually opens up late morning, early afternoon-ish, and then it'll go late into the night. Once again, it does come at an additional cost. It's a really reasonable amount. But what I appreciate about it is it's one other venue on board where you can have some elevated dining. Now they're gonna have indoor seating, so you can sit right here at the bar. They've got those classic jukeboxes in here. In fact, they used to have them along all the booths, and that was one of the big themes when this ship opened up. So they've evolved it just a little bit, so you've got booth style seating inside, you've got booth style seating outside as well, but you're always gonna have some great nostalgic music in here and delicious food. Now on deck seven and eight, this is right below the suite lounge, you're gonna find the Royal Caribbean Online Internet Cafe. Yes, they still have one here and I kinda like it. I like the idea that you can stop by, utilize the Voom internet here from a computer or of course, bring your own device. Now, I will say that Voom works a little bit faster on some of the brand new ships, but I've really appreciated how much it's increased the speeds on board, allows me to work a little bit more, which I don't really wanna do when I'm cruising, but if you cruise as much as I do, you kinda have to. So here you're gonna find the Internet Cafe. You can also print out your boarding passes here. Just below me, you're gonna find the library and game room. I also appreciate that they've kept that old school library. We're seeing them start to disappear on other cruise ships. It's a great place to read a book, maybe find a new book. I found some of my favorite books on cruise ships when I was just perusing and grabbed something random and really enjoyed it. I think it's a really nice way to enjoy your vacation. Also, I mentioned that there's a card room down there. You've got different games that you can check out and utilize as you'd like. So once again, deck nine, aft elevator bank, you're gonna find the suite lounge, right below it, Royal Caribbean Online, and just below that, you'll find the library. So now we're inside the beautiful three-story high dining room here on the Explorer of the Seas. Now dining has always been synonymous with cruising. It's a great opportunity to try new things, to go out and have really whatever it is that you want. And as you can tell, I want a lot of food and I love dining here. In fact, once again, so many incredible memories here. We had that table a few years ago, had a table over by the wall there. I know I get so nostalgic once again. I love 
all the memories that this ship creates for me and will create for you and your family as well. Now you can see it's a really elegant design. It's three stories high, you've got these beautiful pillars up here, and then you also have balconies all throughout. So you get that ambiance of a massive dining space, absolutely beautiful, and of course it's the waiters and waitresses that make the entire experience. Royal Caribbean's crew members are second to none in the industry. They're here to support you, help you, make sure you do the same for them and take incredible care for them. But one of my favorite events on any cruise is when they line up on the balconies there with the stairway and they sing to you. Usually two or three times throughout the cruise, generally lines up with formal night. They'll have a little bit of socialization where they can come and give you, them, you a bit of them. So of course they're gonna bring your meals throughout, you're gonna bond with them and make friends that last a lifetime. Now here with the menu, you're gonna have a rotating menu, so it's a little bit different each and every single night. Once again, it is complimentary. It partners or supplements the specialty dining experiences as well. So if you wanna dine here, of course you can. If you wanna head up to Chops, my all-time favorite, Azumi, Giovanni's Table, you have that. Now the Royal Promenade is like a city street and it encompasses deck five, six, and seven. It goes right down the middle of the ship. And when it debuted on the Voyager, and I think they really perfected it here on the Explorer, it really changed what a cruise ship could look and feel like. So right in the middle, you're gonna have a nice large atrium. You've got beautiful art pieces there, like you're gonna find throughout the entire ship. Now on the port side, you're gonna find the R bar. Now the R bar, it's kind of their homage to the 1970s, if you will. You find those deep velvets, some throwback decor. It's really just a nice relaxing place to grab a drink. So you've got the full bar set up here. You're gonna have seating wrapped all the way around, some booths in the corner. You also have the picture frame one. You find that in all the different R bars throughout the entire fleet. And once again, just a great place to grab a cocktail, especially in the evening. Now on the starboard side, you're gonna find the purser's desk or guest relations. So that's everything to do with money. It's where you'll settle your account, maybe ask any of those questions. I do recommend stopping by throughout the cruise because it does get busy, especially on boarding day and disembarkation day. You can also call them from your room. And of course, if you're in a suite, you can utilize the suite concierge and diamond members in hire can also utilize the diamond concierge as well. Right next to that, you're gonna find the shore excursions desk. Now keep in mind with Royal Caribbean, you can pre-book your shore excursions. We always recommend that. They also have a great program called Private Journeys. This is where you can essentially privatize just about any excursion if you want that just for your family or friends group. Now we work with some third-party vendors as well to find the perfect option for you. But once again, throughout your cruise, you can stop by and visit the shore excursions desk if you have any questions. Now, as we step into the Royal Promenade itself, you're gonna find that it's a mix between bars, retail opportunities, and even some dining options as well. So the very first one is Port Merchants. This is where you're gonna find different kinds of alcohol, tobacco, sundry items, things you might've forgotten at home. Now, keep in mind the reason people shop on a cruise ship is the duty-free pricing. So a lot of times with alcohol, tobacco, different even perfumes, you're gonna find that a lot of the cost is in the tax, so you can have a considerable savings here. Now on the other side, you're gonna have Solera. That's where you're gonna find different kind of cosmetics, perfumes. You have the fashion district where you can find all kinds of different clothing items. Maybe you wanna stock up on your Caribbean gear, you forgot a bathing suit, cover up, whatever it is, they're gonna have those options in there for you as well. Next up is the shop. Once again, you can see there's quite a bit of retail on this side here. So you're gonna find all your favorite Royal Caribbean logo wear. You also, where you're gonna find those little models. I love collecting those. Everybody collects something different, but once again, just another great place to do some shopping. Now on the far side, you're gonna find much higher end retail. So this here where you're gonna find Kate Spade, New York. You're also gonna find something that they've added to a lot of their ships. It's called What Goes Around Comes Around, where you can also get some used or previously owned Louis Vuittons, things like that, at a bigger discount. And apparently, according to my wife, those do go up in value over time. Who would've known? So now, one of the classics that you'll find on all the promenades on the Royal Caribbean ships, and even the Esplanades, is the pub. So this is kind of an English-style pub, the Crown and Kettle here. I personally love the design of this specific one. So you've got the large bar just inside there. You're gonna have seating wrapped all the way around and tucked on the far side in the back, you're also gonna find a live music venue. So generally they'll have a guitarist down here playing all your favorite requests, sing-alongs. In fact, right tucked in the corner, Taylor's dad, the Badger spent quite a few nights listening to the incredible music. And then you could also head out here to the front. Once again, looks and feels like a city street. When they do the parades down the middle, they do the parties as well. This is a great place to grab a drink, sit, relax, and do a little people watching. Now the pub extends on both sides, so you're gonna find more tables for two and four. Once again, it's a place to grab a drink and kind of be part of the atmosphere around you. 
Now, as we head further in, I wanted to point out this bridge up above me. Now, it is a bridge, and you're gonna find that they use it for entertainment. I've done YMCA a few dozen times here on the promenade, led on the 70s party up there, so the cruise director will be up there. They'll use it for different dining or different entertainment venues as well. But the other thing I wanted to point out is it's also a big fire break. Now, in designing a ship like this, this was one of the most difficult spaces to design because it's a lot of big open space, but of course you're on a ship. So everything is focused around safety. You've got to be able to coordinate it off. So you actually see behind there, it's a large fire door that will shut off the entire promenade in just a few seconds. Now, as we head further along, I wanted to point out one more retail opportunity. So you got regalia. This is where you're gonna find the fine jewelry and watches, once again, at duty-free prices. But if you're looking to spoil your spouse, maybe you just wanna upgrade your collection, you're gonna have a lot of options to choose from in there. Now, Cafe Promenade is another one of those complimentary options here on board. In fact, I've sat out here, I've sat inside there a few dozen times on this particular ship. Used to have the nightclub right down below. We come up here for a little pizza at one, two in the morning and relax. But what you can utilize this for is all throughout the entire day. So in the morning, you're gonna have light bites where you can grab and go, maybe some breakfast sandwiches. You have some different pastries that are absolutely delicious as well. You'll have a full coffee bar set up in there. You've got water stations, infused waters as well. And they also have a wide variety of teas. But right here in the middle is where you're gonna find the pizza shop. So they'll make pizza, usually from late morning all the way through very, very early in the morning there. Pepperoni, of course they'll have your cheese pizza, and then they'll mix and match with different options as well. But you're also gonna find some grab and go sandwiches, some fruits. It's a really great place if you want a fast and casual way to dine. Now finally to wrap it up, they do have a bar here. So this is a coffee bar. So you see they have the espresso makers back there. They have a partnership with Starbucks. They've got all of your favorite different syrups and flavorings there. And then right in the front, they also have Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Now Ben and Jerry's and the coffee shop do come at an additional cost, but all the food items in here, once again, the drip coffee, things like that, that's all gonna be complimentary for you. There's a dining area out here. And once again, I know I've talked a lot about nostalgia, but there's also a bandstand just to the side. I've got this great video with my daughter. She was about, I think a year and a half or so. And there were uh, some ladies that were out here dancing to the music and she just walked up and started dancing with them. Had a great time. I just saw the video the other day, kind of brought tears to my eyes, thinking of my daughter so much little or six years ago. But once again, it's the thing that I love so much about cruising. It's the time that you spend together as a family. It's all the different experiences, whether you're looking for the live music, the entertainment, the dining, whether it's fast and casual, or you wanna sit down and have a formal meal. It's all to be found here on the Explorer of the Seas where you can create those memories that last a lifetime. Now it's not a Royal Caribbean ship if you don't have the schooner bar. This is one of the most popular spots on every Royal ship. And each one is a little bit different. So what you'll find here is it's a bar and lounge. There's a piano right in the middle, that's kind of the anchor. They'll have a piano player here each and every single night doing sing-along, you can make your favorite requests. And they're always really good. It's a great social experience. They also use this for different things like trivia during the day, maybe lectures, just another great place to hang out as well. So you've got seats along the windows there, you got wraparound bar, you always get that little smell of wood that they bring in. And then you have a huge wraparound bar as well. These are some of the best bartenders in the entire industry. They're here to make sure you have an incredible time. Now, those of you who know me know how much I love soft serve ice cream. And something special about this one is it started right here on this ship, right here where these machines are. Now, some people get a vanilla or a chocolate, you guys know that the best way to do it is to put it all together, so. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need a few hours. Now when I think about vacation, I always think about relaxation. And what better place to relax than in a spa? Now the Vitality Spa at sea here on board the Explorer is very comprehensive. You're definitely gonna wanna pre-book your spa options. You can do that through your cruise planner. You can also do it when you get on board. Definitely stop by on boarding day. You can do a tour of the space, learn all about it, and lock in your favorite treatment times. Now we've started off right here in the entry, and the very first stop is actually gonna be the salon. Now they have a fully comprehensive salon in here. So if you're looking to get ready to go out for one of the amazing nights here on board, maybe you wanna have a revolutionary new hairdo, they can do that for you here on board. So you'll see they have several hair stations, as we go right around the corner, you're also gonna find that they have pedicure and manicure options. I love it, personally love getting a pedicure and having a bowl big enough for my size 15 feet makes me really, really happy. So you'll see the manicure stations over to the side there. They also do teeth whitening. There's several different options here. Once again, make sure you stop by and learn about all the different choices that you can have on board your cruise. 
Now, once you check in for your spa treatment, they're gonna take you back here to the relaxation room. So in here, you'll find waters, juices, different infused options as well. But really the idea is to get into that Zen mindset. So you'll relax here, fill out a little bit of paperwork so your therapist can get to know you, your preferences, your likes and dislikes, of course, as well. And then from here, you'll head on back and start an incredible massage, facial, seaweed wrap, whatever it is that you're personally looking for. In fact, let's check out one of those treatment rooms now. So now we're inside one of the treatment rooms. Now this is a solo treatment room. They do have doubles as well. So you'll work together with your therapist, whether you want a shorter massage, maybe 50 minutes, all the way up to double that time, you're gonna pick the perfect option for you. Now, as soon as you finish it up, you're gonna hear this sound, which is my favorite and least favorite, because you know that it's over, but I'm sure you're gonna head back out and book another one. All the way forward in front of the promenade area, you're gonna find the Star Lounge and the Connoisseur Club. Another one of those places where all kinds of memories come flooding back. First off, before we head into the Star Lounge, I'm gonna take you into the Connoisseurs Club. Now, what you'll find with ships that have been around for a few years is it's kind of an evolution of what is popular at that time. Now, on this ship, I've already seen that they have a wedding chapel. You don't see that very much anymore. And this is a cigar bar. So it used to be a cigar bar, actually. It was the Connoisseurs Club where you can come in, get a cigar. It's no longer that anymore, but it's a great little reading area. So essentially now it's the library of sorts where you can come in, you can play some different board game options. You've got great little seating areas in here as well. And it also is a little bit of overflow for the Star Lounge. So if they do have any events in there, they can utilize this space as well. Now the Star Lounge is used throughout the day and into the evening. So in the evening, it's a place where you can do karaoke. In fact, having some, uh, some throwbacks right now, standing up there singing girls just wanna have fun after a long day in Cozumel with, uh, with Jay and Jess and my brother and all kinds of friends that we met here on board. In fact, Evan was there as well. But uh, you've got the full dance floor at the end, so they do have live music. It's a great place to do dancing, so they'll have that usually every single evening in here. And then once again, during the day, you might find that they have a bingo round. They have trivia in here as well. It can be used for just about anything. Now we do a lot of large private groups. This is another one of those spaces that they can take offline for a reception or maybe even an educational section. So what I like about this is it's tiered. So at the top tier, you've got booths all along the windows there. You step down to the side, you're gonna have more booths, tables for two and four. And then once again, you've got the full DJ booth in the back. You're gonna have the full bar where they'll provide service throughout. So it's really one of those classic lounges that you'll find on most cruise ships. It can be used throughout the day into the evening. Really beautiful decor and just a great place to hang out and make those memories. Now another very Royal Caribbean unique feature is the ice skating rink. So they have these on all the Voyager class, the Freedom class, and the Oasis class ships. And it's not only an incredible entertainment venue, it's also a place where you can dig in and have a lot of fun as well. Now, Royal Caribbean is actually one of the largest employers of former Olympic athletes in the world. You're gonna find that they have a ton of amazing ice skaters here on board. They put on a full production show that happens several times throughout the cruise. Of course, you're gonna definitely not wanna miss that. I know my kiddos absolutely love it as well. But then they also can convert this into a free skate area. So if you wanna try ice skating for the first time, like I did on this very ship, or if you wanna go ice skating with just for a lot of fun with the family, you can do that right here. They have complimentary ice skates. Once again, that's an activity you can do throughout your cruise. Now they also can put flooring down on top of it and turn it into a multi-use venue. I've done an award show right here. We've also participated in the Quest. Those of you guys who know what I'm talking about, it's Royal Caribbean's adult only scavenger hunt. It does get a little adult. It is an absolute blast. I've won a few times, I just gotta say. We've had so much fun together. And once again, this very space, I have all those incredible memories come flooding back. So they can push this back once again to do different activities. They can also use this for really what it's meant for. And that is of course the incredible ice skating shows that complement the production shows, the parades, and all the amazing entertainment here on Royal. Deck nine, just after the elevator banks, you'll find the concierge club, which is the suite lounge here on board. Once again, I know I've mentioned this a couple times, but for me, there is great nostalgia here. Spent so many nights here with our friends and family having a few cocktails. Now, back in the day, if you were Diamond Plus, you used to be able to have access to this. Now it's just for sweet guests, full sweet guests, because they do have the Diamond Club as well. Now, one of the great benefits here is, of course, the concierge. I mentioned the concierge service starts before you arrive on board, and of course, your heart travel advisor is gonna guide you through that to make sure you get the most value for your money. But here on board, the sweet concierge can do everything from booking dining reservations, helping you with the shows. They can even help on shore excursions. They're really here to amplify your entire experience and take it to another level. 
Now this is a lounge, that's the purpose. It's a social area, you can come by and get a drink later in the evening. You can also stop by and you can get small bites for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. In fact, we used to come for the appetizers, I'd have maybe my first meal and then second dinner and then of course Sorrento's later on. But this all comes together as that perfect spot if you wanna stop by for a quick moment or spend a little bit more time here. So now we're inside the theater. Now this is a massive venue. I remember stepping in here the very first time, my jaw absolutely dropped. So we're up on the upper level right now. So you've got great stadium style seating up here. Everybody's got a great view. And then down below as well, you have an enormous amount of seating options as well. Now in here, the primary entertainment is going to be the big production shows. They have two separate production shows. You wanna make sure and not miss them. They're absolutely fabulous, but they'll also mix it up with different entertainment as well. Remember on our last cruise, they had a juggler there, they had musicians, they had different kinds of magicians. They also would have some late night comedy as well, which is a lot of fun. But the idea here is every single night, you'll have some style of entertainment. They'll also use this as a theater. You play first run movies. And we've even seen things like the Oscars or even the Super Bowl in an in a arena like this as well. So once again, this is the main theater here on board. We're on the upper deck, which is happens to be up on deck four. The lower's down on deck three and an enormous amount of seating. Now the Windjammer is the classic buffet option here on board. At the very front, they actually have a full service bar. They'll provide bar service to everyone in the Windjammer dining, but you can also stop by there in the morning. They do have the full espresso maker. I love that. A lot of times I'll get my coffee there and they also have the fresh squeezed juice. If you have a beverage package or if you're using those Diamond, Diamond Plus drinks. Now there's several different buffet options here. They just closed this line down. So this is gonna go all the way along and it's identical on the other side. So my recommendation is if you see a crowd, go the other way because there's quite a few options, including the very, very back. Now I did wanna point out the Coca-Cola freestyle machines. Now one of the things that's awesome about these is to me the perfect vacation means you get exactly what you're looking for. So if you have the drink package, they're gonna give you a tumbler. All you have to do is set it here. It uses an RFID chip, and then it opens this up so you can pick all your favorite combinations of sodas here. So, you know, maybe you want a mellow yellow with cherry, you can do that. Now at the very aft of the ship, you're also gonna find a ton more seating. It actually wraps all the way around. There's an enormous amount in the very back as well. You'll have a couple more drink stations and then full buffet lines. So here you find some Indian food, some Mediterranean options. You also have the grill. This is where you're gonna have hamburgers, hot dogs, French fries but it also rotates throughout the day. So for breakfast is where you're gonna find the omelets, the egg station, pancakes, waffles, things like that that they're gonna make. And then in the middle here, you'll find our favorite, which is the made to order pasta station. So you'll find Taylor there throughout the cruise. You tell them what you want, they'll go ahead and make it for you. Now in the very middle, you have the dessert station, which may be the most important. Now there's quite a few complimentary beverage stations throughout the ship. I just wanted to point one out. So you've got decaf and regular drip coffee. You're also gonna have the Nestle Vitality water. So right now they have fruit punch, kiwi, strawberry, lemonade, iced tea. In morning, you'll find that they have apple juice, orange juice, grapefruit juice, things like that. So they've got them ready for you to grab. And then of course, you also can make your own. Once again, these are all throughout the ship and all complimentary. I'm sure by now you can see why we love the Explorer of the Seas so much. It was Taylor's very first cruise. It was one of my very first cruise way back in the day as well. And I love the renovations that they've done. They've really updated the ship. They've kept her in great shape. Whether you're looking for some good dining options, some great entertainment options, fun in the sun, sitting in the sun and having a drink in your hand, Royal Caribbean delivers that on a constant basis. An Explorer of the Seas is a great option. Now keep in mind, if you wanna see the rooms and suites, we have those on our channel as well, along with just about the entire Royal Caribbean fleet, celebrity as well, if you wanna check that out. And when you're ready to book, make sure you reach out to the experts at Hard Travel. We know the space is inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with the cruise line, and we know we can help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way.